So here's what we're doing today. Welcome to the Burpsy Garage, or one of the Burpsy Garages. I wanted to take a look at the 2008 Cadillac XLRV that is currently part of the collection in our possession. Um, I've owned it for about a year, and it's an interesting car to own. I've gotten a lot of questions about it, and people kind of were like, what the heck is that? Because it is a, a unique car. If you don't know what it is, it's the Cadillac version of the Corvette. It uh, is a hardtop convertible, supercharged Cadillac North Star 4.4 liter engine. Um, 444 horsepower, I believe. That's what it was rated when it was out of the factory. Um, it looks like a Corvette, but it just has different body lines. And it's very different. But I wanted to talk about kind of how special this car was. Because it's a little historical. Well, I think it's going to be. I tell everybody, but let's see if they listen to me. Um, my day... Jeff got me the, uh, if you can see it there, he got me the uh, brochure when it was brand new. This is what it looked like coming off the factory. So you can read about it and it talks about the car, which is kind of special. But then also I have the window sticker here and I'll post a picture of it. So I have the car build sheet here and uh, it has all the information. I'll kind of go through it, but this is the original window sticker on it. And that's what I wanted to highlight here. The total MSRP for this vehicle when it was brand new, crazy. Almost $103,000 that somebody paid for this car. So I've owned it for about a year. It's a very unique car. Brand new, this thing was $103,000. I didn't pay that. I didn't pay anything close to that. Um, we're talking 30s is what I paid, like mid 30s. Uh, but that doesn't mean I got a screaming deal because there's a couple things that you need to know about this car. If you're looking at them, if you're looking at a 2007 to 2008 Chevy Corvette, you also need to look at this because from what I've uncovered, I walked in uh, to the garage after purchasing this. I filled up the tank. Of course, I'm going to fill it all the way up because I'm going to drive it. And I walk into the garage soon after parking it in here and it just reeks of fuel. And I'm like, what is that? have no idea. Start sniffing around the car. I get underneath it, start sniffing. I'm like, it is coming from the car. It is underneath. So then I start doing some research and looking online. And I find that there was an issue. And it was kept under the wraps. Um, pretty good. But here's the issue. Special coverage adjustment for the 15682 primary tank module flange fuel and vapor leak issue. So this is straight from GM. And it's concerning those years of the XLR and the Chevy Corvette. So I lied. It's a 2007 to 2013 Corvette. And then the 07 to 09 XLR. This is a 2008. It falls right in the middle of it. But here's essentially the issue. It goes through it page by page here. Talking everything that they're going to need. Some pictures of what it should look like. And then some samples of the issue where the fuel um, looks like cap or fuel feed port has some cracks in it and it's allowing those vapors to come out and stink. Uh, it's dangerous too, I mean, it's not safe. These cars have two fuel tanks, one under the driver's seat, one under the passenger seat. So that's part of the issue is those connections. So from the year that this thing was published and here's all the parts you're gonna need, three module fuel pump kits, uh, two exhaust manifold pipe seals, two uh, exhaust manifold pipe gaskets, two exhaust pipe clamps, a rear, I'm sorry, four rear cross member mounting nuts, and then two transfluid cooler pipe fitting retainer. So, oh, there's more. No, I lied, that's from the warranty. That was what they were going to do from GM. However, this thing was only good until 10 years after the car was new. And this thing was issued in 2016. So any car from pretty much every car on this, the 2013s have one more year to get this fixed. If you haven't, do it now. But everybody else, you're out of luck. I called GM, I got the runaround, I called uh, uh, the dealership and they were like, I'm sorry, there's not much we can do. I sat on it for a little bit and then I finally just pulled the trigger, took it to my, uh, I was gonna take it to another mechanic who's done it on another car, another vet. He hated the job. He said it's a big deal. They have to drop the transax transaxle um, to get to the tanks and then get them down. It's a big deal. 
So I was quoted by a shop and it was a really good deal, but I didn't want to, I didn't want anybody just to touch this car. So I took it to the Cadillac dealership, tried to do it right. They treated me really well. I brought this thing in and they were like, oh man, that's a cool car. Uh, there was people who were like circling it. They liked it. Like it's, it's something cool. So uh, they fixed it for me. And then I had them fix some other things, but all together, it was about, I want to say $3,600. Um, I had them do some other things and other work on it. I replaced the radiator, uh, replaced some of the thermostat, had them uh, just kind of go through the car and just make sure everything was good on the coolant side because uh, it had a little bit of a drip. So they got that fixed, but I ended up paying for everything, $5,249. It hurt. That was a little bit of a big deal. Uh, then I had to turn around and get brand new tires on this thing because it was uh, running some Pirellis that were way too old. So I put some uh, Goodyear's on it, the Assurance drives, and they're really smooth. Okay, so it's a good car. Or, I'm sorry, it's good tires. So with all that, I've spent a good amount of money on this car. I got a really good deal, but I've put some money into it to try to maintain it and keep it operational. I, I do drive it. I don't daily it, but I drive it. And I like to put miles on it. And uh, my neighbor told me that, you know, you have wheels and they're round for a reason. So use them. So I like it. So I'm, I do drive it. Put about 2,000 miles on it in the last year. Uh, it's been fun. So if you're interested in a Cadillac XLRV or a 2007 to 2013 Chevy Corvette, something that's not talked about uh, is the fuel issue. So check that. If you're looking for those cars and they've been done or been replaced, it's going to save you about three to $4,000 because you're going to have to do it. It's going to go out at some time. This thing went out. Um, I contacted the guy I bought it from. Uh, and he was a super nice guy. Uh, as soon as I contacted him about this, ghosted. Never heard from him again. Uh, I think he knew it and he gave me the car with a quarter tank of fuel. It's just something I didn't check. So uh, that's it for that. If you have any questions on the Cadillac XLRV, let me know. Thanks for watching.